The session was short and would have been a lot shorter if it hadn't been for an initial bout of questions over the lease of the sixth floor of NatWest House. This property had previously been occupied by her sons and is now being used by the Public Prosecution Office. On a halfway house for men and in answer to a question by GSD opposition member Daniel Feetham, Minister Samantha Sacramento said men were being supported in a different way. Premises, she said, were now being identified instead of a halfway house. The scheme has already assisted 11 men, some alone, some with family. She argued the community's needs were being met in a way that was easier to manage and more cost-effective. In answer to further questions, it was revealed there are also four vacant flats for people eligible for government housing who meet the criteria as homeless. The opposition member called for the guidelines and criteria to be published for the sake of clarity and transparency, with Ms. Sacramento replying the procedures are clear, but that guidelines will be available. There was a final question from Together Gibraltar leader Marlene Hassan Naon on whether data was stored by the Contact Tracing Bureau and shared with third parties. On this, the minister confirmed a data protection impact assessment had been carried out and that information was only shared with people who'd come into contact with someone who'd tested positive. This is basically, she said, another government department stressing the contact tracing app stores no information whatsoever.